the moments that lead police to shoot a man in the foothills. And that video is nothing short of controversial. It shows a man camping in the foothills getting tased and shot by bullets and beanbags by SWAT officers. We are slowing that video down and really taking an in-depth look at what happened that would prompt APD to use deadly force. Erica Zuko analyzed two lapel camera tapes and dispatch reports from APD. Erica. Yeah, Chris, APD always tells us officers see and hear things differently in the moment than we do watching lapel video and reading reports after the fact. So we can't know for sure why officers made the choices they did. But here's what I read, saw, and heard. Go ahead and come out. Albuquerque police. Officers point guns toward 38 year old James Boyd more than an hour after a crisis intervention team tries to talk him down from a rock in the Sandias. Turn around, I'm going to pat you down. Nope. Turn around. Drop the knife. Drop the knife. At 623, the real time crime center runs the man's identity and sends officers details about him that he has an extensive history of attacking officers, that he's a paranoid schizophrenic, and that officers should use extreme caution when contacting him. Take your hand out of your pocket. At 7.13, a dispatch report shows Boyd kept pulling a knife out of his pocket. Ten minutes later, worry about safety. Boyd turns away from officers. Reports show this action disobeys their orders. A canine officer throws something to send the dog in. As he does it, Boyd shows two knives. Good. That's when officers fire a flashbang to disorient Boyd. He waves his arms, not dropping the knives. Five seconds later, they fire a taser. Nearly a second later, six rounds of gunfire send Boyd to the ground. They want Boyd to show empty hands. His response is muffled. His hands are still armed. It's unclear what officers heard from him. Moments later, they ask one more time. Put your hands out to your side and drop the knife. Before firing two beanbags and going in to check him. All right, he's good. Somebody step on that right hand real hard. Reports show that 20 minutes after shots were fired, Boyd rode in an ambulance to UNM Hospital. 25 minutes after that, he was in surgery, listed as critical. 11 minutes later, APD called their attorney, Kathy Levy. Dispatch reports end the next day with Boyd in critical, unstable condition, and all officers listed as okay. Back to you. Okay.